Kali in the movies. Kali has appeared in films such as The Lincoln Lawyer 2011, Babe 1995, 101 Dalmatians 1961, All Dogs Go to Heaven 1989, The Producers 2005, Lassie 1954, Hotel for Dogs 2009, Brigadoon 1954, Man in the Attic 1953, Breed Standards May Change Over Time. Both appearance standards and standards regarding breed character or working qualities may change. The works of art of the early years depict the most typical representatives of the breeds of that time. Comparing with the modern appearance of the breed, you will be able to assess how much the breed has changed over time. Also of interest are archival photographs of specific breeds, which you can find on the internet in specialized forums about the breed. Historical reference of the breed and subgroup. Collie, or Scottish Sheepdog, the most common breed of English herding dogs, has been bred for this purpose in Scotland for many centuries. The name of the breed comes from the black-headed Scottish sheep, whose flocks she always pastured. The Collie probably got its modern look by crossing the old Collie with Irish setters and greyhounds. The harsh Scottish climate contributed to the formation of a thick and long coat, which perfectly protects the dog from bad weather. Until the middle of the 19th century, it remained a purely herding working dog. An irreplaceable shepherd, keeper of the flock, Collie enjoyed great respect among the locals. The dog not only lived in the house, but also had the right to attend church services. In early 1851, the breed fell into the hands of breeders. As a result of targeted selection, the first factory dogs were obtained, which became the progenitors of modern Collie. For the first time, a representative of Collie was demonstrated at an exhibition in Birmingham in 1860. But the ancestor of modern Collie is considered a dog named Trefoil, who was born in 1867. All modern champions and winners of all international exhibitions lead their pedigree from him. The first breed standard was adopted by the English Kennel Club in 1891 and has not changed much since then. This is a medium-sized dog. The height at the withers of males is from 56 to 61 centimeters, females from 51 to 56 centimeters. The head, seen from the front and side, resembles a smooth, well-blunted wedge. The skull is flat, the lateral surfaces gradually tapering from the ears to the tip of the nose. The lower jaw is strong and well-defined. The eyes are of medium size, obliquely set, almond-shaped, dark. The ears are small, located on the top of the head on the sides of the head. Two-thirds of the ear is upright and the top third hangs loose. The neck is long, muscular, powerful, well-arched. The chest is deep and wide. The tail is long, reaching to the hock. In a calm state, it is low lowered and only the tip is slightly bent upwards. In an excited state, the tail is carried cheerfully, but in no case does it throw it over the back. Collie is a very intelligent and highly trainable dog with innate abilities for shepherd service. Thanks to these features, combined with a beautiful, imposing appearance, Collie has many admirers and therefore, in addition to its official purpose, it has become a favorite decorative dog. She attaches herself to the family of her owners with great devotion and love, loves children and guards the apartment well. In addition to the well-known long-haired Collie, there is also a short-haired Collie, which is relatively rare in England. It differs from the long-haired only in the coat, which should be hard, thick and short. In many countries, the long-haired Collie is more common and well-known. She is gaining more and more fans. Its wide distribution was largely helped by the famous movie Lassie Returns, in which one could get acquainted with the high intelligence and remarkable character traits of this noble animal. Collie is never too meters sullen. In addition to excellent shepherd qualities, Collie showed excellent results in writing, guard, search and other services. These dogs with a calm and gentle character are trusting, neat, clean and easy to train. Collie did not have to fight for a place in the sun, and, moving up the career ladder, to shove careless competitors with his elbows, as happened with fighting and military dogs. A broad soul, complacent character and an outstanding mind made these four-legged animals desirable and necessary for a person. The Scottish peasants idolized the dog, trusting it with their innermost thoughts, sharing their joy and finding comfort in it. The appearance of the German Shepherd in the canine firmament significantly pressed Collie. The Collie is becoming more and more of a family dog, companion dog, friend dog all over the world. Today Collie is an elegant, graceful and intelligent creature. This loyal and affectionate dog is very good with children. Collie has a subtle mind and selflessness, but when used as a guard dog, it is inferior to other service dogs. The Collie breed is surprisingly strongly attached to the human family in which they live. Some breeds are strongly attached to one person, others to all members of the human family, others may have a friendly attitude towards all people in general, and the fourth may not have close ties even with the owner. Collie are very strongly attached to all members of the human family in which they live. They are also quite happy with strangers, but they are wary of them. 
The attitude of any dog to strangers strongly depends on the breed of the pet, but even more strongly this attitude depends on the upbringing and socialization of a particular individual. While socialization in the early puppyhood of a pet is especially important in this regard. With children, collie get along just fine. Some breeds of dogs are more relaxed about the behavior of young children and may not pay attention to semantics of children. However, it should be understood that dogs of all breeds, no matter how friendly they are, should be with children only under the supervision of the owner or adults. Since in addition to the qualities of the breed in relation to children, there are also the individual characteristics of each dog, its upbringing and previous experience in communicating with children. Even these relationships are largely influenced by the behavior of children. With other dogs, Collie also get along quite well, and they get along well with each other, if, of course, other dogs show similar behavior. Different breeds of dogs treat their own kind differently. Some dogs will play and interact in every possible way with dogs they meet or live with. Other breeds may try to dominate or even attack similar four-legged ones. At the same time, the relationship between dogs can be very different from how a dog will react to people. The behavior of a dog in relation to other dogs and people depends, not only on the breed, but also on the socialization of a particular individual. Communication collie with small pets such as hamsters, domestic rats, squirrels, chinchillas and other rodents often goes without problems. However, it is better to keep a dog of any breed away from small pets. They get along well with cats. One of the very big pluses of the collie breed is the undemandingness of this breed to the owner's dog ownership experience. Some dog breeds are easier to keep and train, while others are more independent and even assertive and require an experienced owner. The Collie breed is great for inexperienced dog owners, or even those who are getting a dog for the first time. Collies are also suitable for keeping in an apartment, although a country house is preferable. It should also be borne in mind that they do not tolerate loneliness and cannot be left alone for a long time. The quality and quantity of wool allow Collie to comfortably endure cold and short-term heat, but very low or high temperatures are no longer safe for the four-legged. Active loads should be avoided in the warm season. Learning and training. All dogs can be trained and trained, but some breeds remember and execute commands faster and more readily than other breeds. Different breeds need a different approach to training and education. Some breeds may appear to be poorly trainable or even stupid. However, in most cases, a dog breed's trainability is due to the stubborn or independent nature of the dog breeder individual. In the book The Intelligence of Dogs, published in 1994 and written by University of British Columbia Vancouver psychology professor Stanley Korn, Collie is ranked 16th out of 80 in terms of learning ability. In this regard, the breed is on a par with the German Spitz breed, and next to such breeds as the English Springer Spaniel, Belgian Shepherd and Flat-Coated Retriever. In Professor Stanley Korn's book, Collie is located in the group Dogs with Excellent Learning Abilities, mastering a new team from 5 to 15 repetitions. Execution of the command from the first time, in 85% of cases and above. Tendency to bark. Among other things, breeds differ in the level of noise, or rather, in the frequency of their barking. Some breeds can bark all the time without stopping, and never get tired of barking at every stranger or strange dog that passes by your house or by herself. Other breeds bark only on business, when it is necessary in her opinion, and still others can only give a voice in exceptional cases. Collie can be attributed to the second group described above. The desire to gnaw these dogs do not stand out. The desire to gnaw and taste everything is common to puppies of all breeds, but as adults, different breeds have varying degrees of propensity to explore the world with their teeth. Collie are not prone to such pranks. Activity and energy level. According to the level of charge and activity, breeds can also be divided into active and calm or even lazy. An active dog will require constant walks, training and frequent mental stimulation from you. Calm and less energetic dogs will be happy with short walks around the house and will gladly share your desire to lie on the couch at home. This feature should be taken into account when choosing a pet since the unfulfilled needs of an active animal will be realized at home on the things and objects of your home. The amount of energy in the dog also determines with what desire and for how long the dog will play games with you or with your child under your supervision. Collie are quite calm dogs with a low level of energy and activity. In addition, many breeds have an innate desire to chase moving objects and animals. The degree of this desire may vary from breed to breed. If this innate instinct is highly developed in a dog, you need to carefully monitor the pet during a walk and keep it on a leash, since any moving object can provoke the dog to chase, even if it is a car that can harm the animal. At such moments the dog can disobey the call of the owner and switch all your attention to the moving target. In addition, such breeds pose an additional danger to small domestic animals and birds. However, Collie has this instinct, although it is in abundance, he is most often able to cope with it. Passion for vagrancy and love of freedom. 
Some breeds have a tendency to cover long distances on their fours, for which they were bred, so these dogs, following their instinct, will not miss the opportunity to escape from you, and run a couple of kilometers, despite your calls. Sled dogs, hounds and bloodhounds are mainly inclined to such walks. Collie is absolutely not inclined to run away from the owner, or from the house. Tendency to drool. The amount of saliva produced depends on the characteristics of the breed. Some breeds salivate, so much that they can leave marks on the carpet, on the sofa, on the floor and on you, other breeds also salivate, but this happens in much less quantities. Luckily, collies produce very little saliva. The collie wool leaves behind a large amount, especially if you skip regular combing. The amount of dog hair in your home, and on your clothes, depends a lot on what breed you choose, some breeds shed all year round, others only seasonally, others hardly shed. This characteristic of the breed can be important depending on where you plan to keep the pet, whether members of your family are allergic to animal hair, and how important it is to you in general. Dog care. Some breeds may require a lot of grooming and attention due to coat characteristics, muzzle shape, habitat, or the general health of the breed. Collie in this regard is quite average in terms of the complexity of the care of the dog, only the beautiful coat of the Collie variety with long hair adds difficulty in keeping. General health of the breed on a 10 point scale. The general health of dogs of this breed, and the possibility of the appearance of genetic diseases in them can be assessed on a 10-point scale of 7 points, that is, they are quite healthy dogs with a minimum number of genetically predisposed diseases. Some collie breeds suffer from a genetic defect, a mutation in the MDR1 gene. Affected dogs are very sensitive to certain drugs, such as ivermectin, as well as some antibiotics, more than 100 drugs in total. Affected dogs also show lower cortisol levels than normal. The German Kennel Club is urging breed clubs to test all breeding stock and avoid breeding sick dogs. Collie can have a genetic disorder, such as canine cyclic neutropenia or gray collie syndrome. This is a stem cell disease. Puppies with this disease are often mistaken for healthy ones. Affected puppies rarely live more than six months. For a puppy to get sick, both the father and mother must be carriers of the disease. The average life expectancy of a collie is 10 to 15 years.